Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Cheryl, aka Corporal Kitty, and I'm here today to talk to you about more video games, a nice Christmassy atmosphere. Very Christmassy. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Square Enix announcement that was kept very hush hush and quiet. There was a countdown timer on um, one of Square Enix's websites, I don't know if you clocked that, but actually it was an announcement for um, Star Ocean, it was an announcement for Star Galaxy, which is basically a massively multiplayer sim set in outer space. However, this one's a little bit differently, it's a little bit more strategy based um, and it's also card based. Um, what you do is um, you take control of the planet, you control the resources, the infrastructure, basically build like a base and then you go out and fight. Um, there's four, four fractions, Imperial Army, Holy Knight, the Universe Trading Union and the Republic. Uh, these obviously all have separate strengths and weaknesses but they also fight for a certain reason so you're more likely to get more attack power out of one, more intelligence out of another, more um, research points, things like this that um, kind of point to XCOM. XCOM's kind of like that, you can have scientists and stuff like that but this is definitely more um, strategy based, more structure, you build a structure, you watch your structure go, grow and then you obviously have battles and um, things on top of that. However, a really exciting part of Star Galaxy is uh, the fact that you can fight with 2,000 people on one on one map, which is pretty incredible. I guess this is the way games are going, they're going bigger and bigger and bigger, but also you need a way of ultimately making the game work and navigate, and I can see Star, um, Star Galaxy being actually bang on kind of level to unlock a lot of kind of great gameplay and with um, card battles, you can level up your cards and stuff like that, so it's not static cards. They're not like um, physical cards, they're um, virtual cards. So you can change, I'm guessing you can change your um, decks and stuff like this. Um, a lot of news hasn't been released about it yet. If you have any little bits of information you'd like to drop my way, please do leave a comment or get in touch. That would be awesome. Bit of a surprise due to uh, lots of anniversaries. There's two 25th anniversaries happened this year and that was Street Fighter and Mega Man. However, some very smart people decided to come up with an idea to combine these two awesome things and come up with Street Fighter Cross Mega Man. You can download the game for free, again, um, off um, Capcom's website. Um, there's a special um, page where you can go to it and download it for free. Absolutely free. They, these guys have made this for free because they're not just working. They you know they're fans as well. You know, they're, they're kind of in with us. Xiao Zong Q, if I can pronounce his name right, is the developer of the game. He basically has designed each level around each boss, which is a Street Fighter character you fight. There's eight of them, you know, it follows the Mega Man theme of like level, boss, level, boss, level, boss, level, boss until you get to the end. It works really well. You can't really pull them apart. It's like they were always supposed to be together. It, it, it's not bizarre, it's great, obviously, but when you look at them, like the two dimensions that come together, they, they really do make like, a quite a handsome couple, um, Street Fighter and Mega Man. Ultimately, you get through the eight levels. I'm not going to spoil it for you, there is secrets at the end. There might be a secret end of level boss, might not be. It's up to you to kind of get that far. If you have or haven't, or you'd like to leave a comment or leave, I don't know, maybe some tips for someone else because it is quite a challenging game. Not everyone kind of gets right to the end. But if you could leave a comment for us, that would be great. Share your knowledge. Okay, um, Gears of War Judgment is appeared on the horizon, which is apparently um, a type of prequel. It goes back to when the Locust War was its most fierce and concentrates on um, the plot. It's hard to pick out from the trailer, but it does actually look like the developers are bringing more core story elements into it to help bring all of the other titles into perspective. If you look into the trailer, it's very heavily apocalyptic. You've got the full scale war going on, you haven't just got your. Um, Hedgemen, you've got some serious large scale um, monsters to fight. They can fly, they come up through the ground. Gears of War never was really technology bound in its theme. It seems that they've kind of went in like a nice, really fleshy, bloody, judgment, apocalyptic type fashion to their next title, which is it's. It's what Gears of War is um, supports really is is not so much violence but more of a grotesque beauty 
to video games or to their video games. You know, you have chainsaws and you cut people in half and the trailer basically shows you it's that and like a whole lot more. A larger environment. The pace seems the same, you know, you're quite planted. It's very much um, face to face, toe to toe, eye to eye combat. Very exciting. Gears of War was always one of those games that made me sweat. But I used to get sweaty hands, especially online, um, especially if you're playing with your friends. You, you never want to let your side down because once you're dead, you're dead, you don't spawn. You're in little meaty chunks on the floor. Which again, it's funny when you do it to someone else, but when it happens to you, it's not so funny and you can get a wee bit of gamerage. Hopefully we'll see some more news about Gears of War Judgment in the future. When we do, I'll uh, make sure to bring it to your attention. If you'd like to bring anything else to my attention, again, please leave a comment. I will get back to you. Or someone probably will. You know what the internet's like. It's full of people. That's all I have to say for myself today. If you would like to leave a comment and say something for yourself, please do get in touch. I'll get back in touch with you. What am I most excited about? would have to be Star Galaxy, but we'll, we'll see what happens with that in the future. I'll see you guys later. Bye!